Dawood Ibrahim is a notorious Indian gangster and a designated terrorist who is the mastermind of the 1993 Mumbai serial bomb blasts. Born to a constable of Mumbai police, he grew up in Dongri, Mumbai. Initially, he worked petty jobs such as repairing cars and driving rickshaws. He began his criminal activities in his late teens after being associated with the Haji Mustan gang. He is also said to have worked with the Karim Lala gang. As a result of his famous fallout with the Haji Mustan gang, he formed his own gang, the infamous D Company, in the 70s. The syndicate indulges in hawala, illegal drug trade, and arms trafficking in more than 25 countries around the globe. Somehow, what brought him nationwide recognition was his role in the 1993 Mumbai serial bomb blasts, which he had planned with Tiger Memon. He was declared a global terrorist by both the US and the Indian governments and is currently said to be residing in Karachi, Pakistan. One of the most chaste terrorists in Indian history, Daywood has been on the most wanted list of the National Investigation Agency for a very long time now. Childhood and Early Life Dawood Ibrahim Gaskar was born on December 27th, 1955 in Kedh, a small town in the Ratnagiri district of Maharashtra. His father, Ibrahim Gaskar, worked as a head constable with the Mumbai police and his mother, Amina, was a housewife. The family who moved to Dongri, a Muslim-dominated locality in Mumbai. Raised in a lower middle class, class family, Dawood had bigger dreams ever since he was a kid. Not very interested in academics, he dropped out of school and started earning at a very young age. He worked as a mechanic and also drove a rickshaw to earn his living, but this did not satisfy him. By the time he reached his teens, he had started getting involved in pretty crimes and frauds. He targeted the busy Crawford Market in Mumbai and sold cheap duplicate watches, fooling people with their fake price tags. Many complaints were registered against him. He kept indulging in such petty crimes till his late teens. The Beginnings by the time he was in his late teens, the Kareem Lala gang and the Haji Mustan gang had become highly infamous, which led a young Dewood to join hands with them. His aspirations to become an underworld leader had him indulge in mild scuffles with his gang members. He mostly fought the Haji Mustan. The famous gang war be between the Haji Mustan gang and the Patan gang turned him into a feared entity. When the Patan gang killed Sabir, one of Dewood's brothers, all hell broke loose. Gangster Manya Surve was allegedly involved in the murder and joined hands with the Patans to fight Dewood and the Hajimistan gang. This was one of the deadliest underworld wars that Mumbai had ever seen. Dewood wiped out the entire Surve and Patan gangs along with their comrades. Dewood took over the Mumbai gang scene as, as soon as Haji Mistan entered politics. By then, he had already established the D Company and had moved to Dubai. He operated his business from Dubai and created the biggest Indian Hawala racket. He also smuggled arms and drugs. Between 1983 and 1988, he went on a rampage and destroyed all major gangs in Mumbai, thereby becoming the undisputed leader of the Mumbai underworld. He forced the seasoned criminal Kareem Lala to enter into a truce with him. The truce took place in Mecca. Such rampant killings scared people to death and no other gang tried to rival him. 
Daewood moved to Dubai in 1986 and formed an alliance with the local sheikhs to strengthen his influence. He loved inciting fear in people and soon became one of the most feared gang lords in Dubai too. Terrorism In order to capitalize on the communal disharmony prevalent in India, especially in Mumbai, Pakistan's secret service agency, the Inter-Services Intelligence, ISI, joined hands with Daewood in the early 90s. ISI funded Daewood further and helped him grow. In return, Daewood became a part of the plot that intended to destroy Mumbai's backbone. It was Tiger Memon who had planned the Mumbai attacks and the weapons involved in the attack was smuggled to Mumbai via Daewood's smuggling chain. He was also accused to be one of the planners and finances of the serial blast that took place on March 12, 1993 and claimed 257 innocent lives. Ever since the blasts, he has been on the most wanted list issued by the Indian government. His alleged contacts with Osama bin Laden had him on USA's radar too. This had him included on the list of global terrorists with USD 25 million as head money. Daewood has also been suspected of working alongside every other terrorist organization active in the Indian subcontinent. His role in both the 2002 Gujarat riots and the 2008 Mumbai attacks is debated to date. Indian media organization Times Now had once claimed that Daewood has been in Karachi, Pakistan since 2015. A dossier prepared by the Indian government for Pakistan had stated that Daewood had nine residences in Pakistan and three passports to his name. Bollywood and Cricket Several Bollywood stars and filmmakers have been questioned from time to time about their alleged relations with Daewood. Several news reports in the 80s and the 90s claimed that a few producers used underworld money to make films. Reports also claimed that Daewood was in romantic relationship with Mandakini, a popular Hindi film actor. Daewood is also said to have indulged in extorting money from well-known film industries, Star Wars. The murder of Indian music magnate, Goshen Kumar, was reported to have been carried out on the borders of Daewood Ibrahim. Although Daewood had a very strong influence in Bollywood, the film industry seems to have deserted him after he was alleged to be involved in the 1993 blasts. One of Daewood's most loyal gang members, Chota Shaquille, had allegedly financed the Bollywood film Chori Chori Chupke Chupke, but the allegations were never proved. However, it also indicated that there might still be some connection between the underworld and Bollywood. Daewood is known to be an ardent cricket fan and is rumoured to have illegally placed bets on major cricket matches. In 2013, former Indian cricketer Dilip Vangsarka alleged that during a match between India and Pakistan and Shah Jah in the year 1986, Daewood had entered the Indian dressing room and had offered to gift an expensive car to each of the players if they beat Pakistan. Kapil Dev, the then Indian captain, is said to have treated Daewood poorly asking him to leave the dressing room. Several films loosely based on Daewood's life have been released such as D Company and Once Upon a Time in Mumbai. However, it was filmmaker Anurag Kashyap who presented the most brutally honest account of Daewood's role in the Mumbai blasts in his film Black Friday. The film remained banned for a very long time and was released only until 2004. Personal Life Dawood Ibrahim is married to Mejabin Sheikh 
and the couple has four children. One of his daughters, Maruk, married Juned Miandad, son of former Pakistani cricketer Javed Miandad. Another of his daughters, Mareen, married a Pakistani American businessman. His son Moy married Sanya, the daughter of a London based Pakistani businessman. He lost one of his daughters, Maria, to an illness in Pakistan in 2010. Moin Ibrahim, his only son, became a Maulana in 2017, and this reportedly did not do down well with Dawood. It was said that Dawood was dis depressed for a very long time because of his son's choice of the path of religion instead of a cushy life. His sister, Hasina Parker, who faced immense backlash for her brother's actions, has also been a controversial figure. She lost her husband in a gang war. She has openly refuted any connections with her brother. Hope you like this video. If yes, then like the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the button given below.